Halo MCC flight has just started, bringing brand new customization we've never seen before in Halo and two new maps for Halo 3. In this video, we're going to cover everything, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe right there. Let's get right into the content. After a week long delay, the flight has finally been released for everyone to check out. And it has some crazy new customization that we've never seen before in Halo 3. And I think you'll be pretty excited about it. We're talking new armor pieces, new ways to customize those armor pieces, and some new nameplates that are, well, a little animated for you. As well as two new maps for Halo 3. I'll be doing a quick overview just to showcase the maps for you guys in person, but I'll be doing a deep dive into each map later on in videos coming after this one. So make sure you subscribe to catch those. And I know a lot of you are really excited about the custom game browser. This flight is meant to test that, but it's currently not in this build right now. As stated in the previous Friday development update for MCC, it sounds like the custom game browser will probably be coming next week in a mid-flight patch, along with also the MCC store. So we have a lot more coming for this flight. So let's get right into the content that we have right now. So I will have timestamps in this video so you guys can skip to the parts you exactly want to check out. Now, first we'll check out the new customization for Halo 3 and it's pretty interesting. So here we are at the character customization page for Halo 3 and you can see my Spartan looking pretty different right there. That's because we have some new armor pieces from Halo Online coming in here as well. A lot of it is the Ryan armor piece right here. Not only that, we have some new ODST helmets as well. We can scan through right here. You can kind of do a quick little view. You can see they're much more angular and pretty sharp looking and honestly, Pretty awesome looking as well. Here is the Rhine shoulder piece right here. I'll angle it for you guys so you can check it out. Looks pretty badass. Looks kind of reminds me of like a Mad Max kind of thing almost really, right? And then we also got some new pieces for ODST. I mean, each piece of the ODST armor sets that come into this game look freaking cool. This right here is the Rhine chest piece. You can see the LEDs lighting up everything. Looks pretty damn awesome along with the ODST set as well. We'll just kind of scan through so you guys can see it. If you want a longer shot, just uh, you know, pause the video and you'll be able to check out more. Again, for the arms, we have the Ryan piece as well. As top of that, some more ODST. Basically, everything Ryan and ODST was added in with this game. The Ryan legs have these nice, really cool LED lights on them. And again, we have the ODST legs, which actually look straight out of ODST. Like, that looks like straight ODST armor. You can make your guy look like a legit ODST Bad ass when it comes to Halo 3 customization. Pretty excited about that. A brand new customization we've never had before in this game. Back accessory. Yes, you can have an accessory to the back of your character. So I'll do a default here so I can get a little visual comparison. So here is the back of the armor set. We have the tactical pack. We have the demolitions pack, communications pack, ammo pack, Blasky, is that how you pronounce it right there? You have a cool like axe because why not but the really cool one sword and board yes you can have the legendary swords and shield from the game on your back as a character that's pretty freaking awesome we also have some new tech suit customization you guys remember in season five they brought some new tech suits we have the classic the new version with some bumpiness to it Tinted version, and now they have Gen 2 Azure, which kind of gives you a blue undercoat. This looks completely different in game, though. We'll show you guys in a bit. Gen 2 Gunmetal, as well as Gen 2 Maroon. Sadly, though, no love for elites. Now we have a ton of new skins coming in for Season 6 as well. So we'll just go down the list. We'll start with the vehicles. Again, you can see we have the Black Rhine customization. You'll see this very common throughout all the customization for Season 6 as Black Rhine is a new one. This is like a gold kind of carbon fiber look right here we also have the amber raven we have an awesome big red fire truck for the gossog as well as a rescue so maybe this is kind of like a play on like the life buoys that you see at like the beach or something the scorpion also gets a black rhine and jade raven both looking pretty awesome the hornet's finally getting some customization as well with the black rhine skin on top of that as well as a sapphire raven as well 
no winter coating that we saw in a leaked image previously. And the mongoose is getting some love. If, if you guys know right now, there is a challenge right now to complete the last mission of Halo 3 on Legendary on a mongoose. You get the hazard pick. Now you have new customization here for like the racer, you got the turbo. If there's other name for a skin, this might be something coming in for a challenge or something like that. Might be coming in later. We'll see. The Black Rhine, as we've seen previously. Both Amethyst Raven, both looking amazing. Sadly, no love for Halo Reach on this customization, at least anything I've seen so far. I have seen pictures on Twitter, though, that show more Halo 3 customization that I'm personally not seeing right now. So I'm not sure if there's some discrepancy between the builds or that went out or anything like that, but uh, I'm not seeing these pictures right here. And you know, Season 6 wouldn't be complete without some weapon skins as well, so let's jump right into this. We have new battle rifle skins for the Black Rhine right there, as well as the Amber Raven. Even on top of that, it's kind of like a more of a forced, warm foresty kind of camo to it. Looks pretty awesome in my opinion right there. We have the Black Rhine for the sniper rifle as well as the Amethyst Raven, which looking pretty funky. Black Rhine for the shotgun right here as well as the Jade Raven. The rocket launcher as well gets the Black Rhine treatment. And yes, you better believe it, Black Rhine for the assault rifle as well as a Sapphire Raven for the assault rifle on top of that. Halo 3 Magnum this season, no love. Here are some SMG weapons weapon skins as well. Kind of scrolling through. I'm not quite sure if all these are new, but I think before it was just a Scorpio, but uh, now you have some more options. Again, sadly, no skin love for Halo Reach. Oftentimes, I don't really show any of the new nameplates because it's not that interesting, but this one actually is really cool because now we have animated nameplates in the game. It finally happened, guys. We have a cool looking like rainfall one. We have like a snowfall one with a Spartan right there. We have like a digital camel scroll. Another woodland camo scroll. We have this fire one, which just looks awesome. The legendary symbol with like eyes glowing right there. I like a headshot looking one and a halo ring kind of circulating. And also just a color changing camo as well as like it looks like a kind of a Halo 4 style animated one on top of that as well. But right now I just want to do a quick overview of the two new maps in Halo 3. I will be doing a deep dive analysis on each one of these maps so make sure you catch those videos when, videos when they go live. First of all let's just check out our Spartan here. This is what I was talking about when I was saying like the undersuit looks completely different. This is like that Azure undersuit but it looks like teal to me. Uh, this is what also what the shield looks like in game. Pretty freaking awesome right? Here's a quick overview of the map. Uh, again, this map is actually pretty big. This might be possibly like a BTB style map. As we kind of go around the outside here, you can kind of see more of what we talk, showed in some of the screenshots here. Multi-level actually as well, as you can see right there. And quite large. And ultimately, it just looks freaking amazing. This is such a cool looking map. So much more diverse than I thought it was going to be. And so much larger than I thought it was going to be too. Again, we'll just have to see how this map shows up in the playlist. I hope BTP, because if it was a 44 map for this, this would be a pretty slow map. Look at this cool ice caverns that we got going on over here, man. This is an awesome looking map. I cannot wait to jump in and show some gameplay on this, guys. Again, like we're doing a detailed breakdown of every single one of the new maps that are coming in with this one and Edge as well. Edge is a little more straightforward, a little bit less complex than this one is. Let's jump right into that map now as well. Okay guys, so here is the map Edge. So I believe, if I remember correctly, I did play this on Halo Online back when it was a new thing to play and I believe there was kind of like a three lane format with this map right here. Like this is the center location right here. And you go over here, there's another side. It's kind of like a cut right down the middle symmetrical kind of map. So once you see one side, you've seen the other side pretty much. You can get the great vista of these beautiful cliff sides with all these cool waterfalls and stuff like that. This map is definitely like a Forerunner style map. Uh, definitely was designed with like sprint in mind for sure. Uh, so we'll see how it kind of plays out in classic Halo gameplay. We'll just kind of have to wait and see until we actually get a chance to play it. Like I said, I will be doing a breakdown of every single one of these maps within Halo Online and the flight as well, so make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Sound like a broken record, but hey, I'm just trying to give you guys the promises I am telling you that I'm going to be delivering for you guys on this channel. So it seems to be like these long hallways on the outside, which is interconnecting hallways that kind of cross in between in the middle right here. You can't really jump from each side, either side here, so keep that in mind as well while traversing the map. Pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy to look into, but it just looks incredible. And I'm really excited to have a chance to play this in Halo 3. Like I said, guys, there is currently no custom game browser, or no MCC store, but those are looking to come in later in this flight. So make sure you stay tuned for those videos as well, as well as we break down those new maps on top of that. 
If you guys like the new customization, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I link to all my news and informational videos right there. I could be on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.